You are listening to GZR Ground Zero Radio, the very best of Orange County's original music scene and beyond. beyond. Look what else has just drifted in. Uh, Who drifted? Who's drifted in this? This is kind of kind of the night of uh, some drifters. Some drifters. Some rock and roll. And uh, we're some more rock and roll royalty. Yeah, rock and roll royalty. I will say. The original striker is in the house. Yes, they are. And who? And Three Tris, quarters of us, Tris, anyways. Tris Mahaffey, who is a co-host here on Ground Zero Radio. This is the band that you are a part of. The original mm-hmm. striker introduced to us. Who just walked into our live studio? Well, for sure. I think we're missing one. That's okay. Yeah, we got three quarters. Okay. That's, so, that's enough for a vote So or something. Quorum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. So uh, to my right is uh, Ben Wiener, lead vocals. Hello, hello. Hello, Ben. And then to his right is Steve Greco on drums. And Steve Greco. Thank you, thank you. And, and yeah, I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I'm not going to try to dominate the whole radio show. No. So, <laughs> say it as a trigger. <laughs> this I got to see. Yeah, right. <laughs> so maybe we can let these guys also talk about what we've been up to and what we plan to do this year. It's certainly so far turning out to be interesting already. Yeah, it is. And we mm-hmm. haven't even gotten through January. Yeah, so January <laughs> right? starts, uh, starts yeah. off pretty hot with the Nam Jam this Saturday night. Yes. Ben and Steve, since Tris is going to give you the mic, tell me what's tell me what's happening. Yeah, see how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben's well we're, yeah, we're starting off with this uh, with this Saturday. I'm pretty excited about this show. I'm looking forward to uh, supporting the boys out there in Leatherwolf mm-hmm. and Hypnostic and uh, the other bands. And then we've got um, well, we just signed a deal to support. Lynch mob at the coach house. Yes, on Easter Sunday. Yay. Right on. Yeah, right. So uh, we're pretty excited about that. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorite bands. So super excited for that gig. And then uh, on April sixth, we have a show at the Whiskey with Keel. That's right. Wow. So making that's uh, awesome. His return to the Sunset <laughs> Strip. That should be an incredible show. Yeah. 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 So we've been we've been busy booking out the year. We're trying to get uh, as much stuff in at least until June. Maybe take the summer off. But you're return. booking you're booking some heavy hitting gigs. That's kind of the idea. That is the idea for the original striker. Yeah. You know you don't have time to waste with. Okay, I won't say. But I mean, like, <laughs> but seriously, you are focused. Okay. We don't have time to waste. Let's just stop. Period. Enough said. I didn't mean anything by that. I swear I didn't. Yeah. I didn't mean anything by that. I swear I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, we, we tried, I didn't mean it that way. We tried to get on the bill with Pat Boone at the coach house. No. That yeah, that just wasn't booked. in the cards. Maybe next time. No, okay. We heard you're not doing metal anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's right, yeah. What I meant was <laughs> you guys are focused on uh, making sure you secure the heavy hitting gigs. Therefore, you're not wasting your time on non heavy hitter gigs. <laughs> that, that's, what well that. that's what I meant by that. That's what I meant by that. Yeah, well put. So yeah, I mean seriously, yeah. you got Nam Jam, you got Coach House, you got Whiskey A Go Go. That's mm-hmm. all seriously big hitter type of uh, gig events. So yeah. kudos, man. We like those events because they're yeah. just well, they're fun to play. You yeah. Know, you, you get on a good stage and good lighting and everything like that. And because we're an original band, you know, we could probably, if we were doing covers, we could probably play lots of places all the time. But this is a more of a showcase of the music of the band. And we write and record. We're proud of our originals. And, you know, that's 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 the whole idea here. Yeah. You know, the end yeah. game. So uh, the end game is, is playing at those sorts of venues. So, you know, I had a dream to play Irvine Meadows. Of course... That didn't happen. And then I had a dream to play five points. Oh, well, that's gone. So now I'm setting my sights on other places for, you know, the big stages. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> so know, I, we can do. I don't see why those things are out of your sights, though, still. Well, because well, the closed. venues are gone. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're they're apartments. Okay, <laughs> condos. But, but I, <laughs> okay. But the level. 
You go play yes. the community center. That is, but right. that I, that is, <laughs> that's what I, the swimming pool. That's what I meant, though. Yeah. The level of what you have your eyes set on. You guys mm-hmm. deserve to be at that level, You're in my opinion. Kind. No, in my opinion. Ha- well, thank you. I've heard, I've heard a lot doing these radio shows, and. Um, so you you no you guys deserve to be playing in the best of the best venues, and I'm stoked for your lineup already. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. Now I'm jammed this Saturday night at the Grand Ballroom, and the now that the tickets are available. Uh, yes, we have a few left. Yes. Yes, and it, it that is a seven hour bombardment. Event. <laughs> bombardment of paint peel. rock and roll yeah we'll yep. peel the paint off your brain basically <laughs> that's an epic so, show i mean sure. the the ticket price is worth two it's hours cheap. but you're getting yeah. seven hours come on now yeah, yeah. there you go yeah right Agreed. and then you got coach house and then you got whiskey go-go coming up so let's hear let's hear some rock and roll yeah let's play one yeah let, let me ask a question ben so <laughs> rock and roll who do you do it for? Well, we do it all for you, Mike. Well, let's check and it out. And everybody else out there. All right, here it comes. Let's check it out. Yeah, they do. Yeah. What a 1.5. <laughs> KOCI. <laughs> FM. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. That was Steve Greco and his radio voice. <laughs> That's his, yes, radio voice tonight. Got to do it. <laughs> so, you know, I think we should uh, give uh, Mr. Greco a little time on the radio because he's, you know, he's a songwriter, producer in his own right. And I think maybe you should let us... Give us a little thing of what you've been up to lately. Talk about some of your other projects. Yeah. In uh, yeah. the radio voice. In to? the radio voice, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. In my radio voice. Um, you know, it's been uh, off to a good start this year. Um, spending a lot of time in the studio, actually, between a couple of different projects. 
um, singer-songwriter project with uh, with Rob Gallus. Yep, friend of the show. A great friend we of the love show. Rob. From Moral Decay, Decay. Yeah. also in Straight great. 78. Um, and then still doing a project, uh, still very involved, I should say, with um, Greg Gallardo, mm -hmm. which is Random Parade. We're, also um, a friend of the show. Also a friend yeah. of the show. Yeah. And his daughter. Yeah. Yep. Chloe. <laughs> and so with that band looking to book some gigs over the next three to six months, you know, around Orange County, uh, all original project. Uh, Rob's talking about maybe firing up a band as well uh, to do his original music mm. in addition to the Moral Decay. And um, yeah, and then the rest of the time with Stryker, we've been pretty active the last you know few months getting ready for shows coming up and finishing recordings. Yeah. So yeah, it's been um, it's been a busy couple of months actually, the last three months. But yeah, enjoying spending a lot of time in the studio. That's my next favorite place on the planet. <laughs> it it seems like whenever I text wife. Steve, he's he's either at the studio or he's going to the studio. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, it it, uh, it it helps that the studio is literally five minutes. That helps door to door from my house. So I've lucked out over the years that um, that's very very convenient mm. for me. I was just telling Ben. Uh, just before I came down here, I stopped at the studio. Ben was down earlier, left a pair of glasses. And, of course, I got down to the studio and forgot my studio keys. Mm. <laughs> I had to go back home, but it was, it was like a three-minute drive back right. to the house. So it's yeah, like, not yeah. a big deal. Exactly. So, yeah, lucky lucky and blessed to be able to, um, to live so close to my music environment. Well, thanks for being that close and grabbing my glasses. You are yeah. welcome. <laughs> Any, like I said, anytime. And, you know, it probably helps, to not having it in the house. Yes. Oh, gosh. The studio? You know, yeah. Tried that. I mean, I think we've said that for <laughs> decades. Um, yeah. Able to get away, you know, not, yeah. I don't want to say man cave, but just where you're not bothered. The dog doesn't run in. The You know, you don't worry about the electric bill. The, exactly. You know, the we don't worry about the electric bill. That's for well, sure. Well, I mean, like, you know, things come in a, honey, you know, or... The smell of pot roast. Uh, right. You know, it's like, that yeah. smells so good. I think I should just give up what I'm doing. And Yeah. Well, yeah. I think there's another facet to it. You know, you're, especially when you're, you're creating, right? You're, you're recording and, and writing and stuff. And sometimes you need to, you need to walk away and separate yeah. yourself from it. When it's in your home, it's that much harder because it's right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. If I, I think, if, if I ever had a studio at the house, I would want a private, uh, separate uh, building for yeah. them. like you know a my one acre, acre lot exactly I'd sounds have like you're uh, <laughs> pitching for an ADU <laughs> yes exactly on a one <laughs> acre my back my back, uh, my back studio the back my, 40 yeah. right Steve's back 40 locked door awesome yeah but we've been in we've been in that studio and, and down here in Nigel I should say down there in Nigel for forever and uh, it's always been convenient because I've always lived in Laguna Niguel, so it's always it's home been close to home yeah which is just great I do have a music room in the house but it's you know, it's got basses hanging on the walls, and uh, I've got a digital drum set at that in the house that allows me to rehearse when I need to without, you know, waking the neighbors or getting the cops called on me. <laughs> right, um, right. And my family or my wife if, or if my son's home, then, you know, I, I can be banging away in there, and all you basically are hearing is a kind of a thumping sound. You don't actually hear drums and cymbals, but I've got headphones on and it's cranked up and it sounds like I'm playing the forum. That's right. Which is In awesome. the headsets. Yeah. That's okay. modern technology we have these days. Ground right. Zero Radio with the original striker in the Hello. house. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. So you guys are, you know you're my favorites. Aww. Oh. You know that's, that's so true. nice. Aww. You're our favorite too. Oh, yeah. shockers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, though. We speak the truth here on Ground Zero Radio. Uh, we do. Absolutely. That's what we do. So All original truth. <laughs> GZR. <laughs> Ground Zero Radio. Ground That's, and beyond. And, and be beyond. Of beyond. Beyond. Got to have that in there. So, um, what have we not covered so far that you would like to cover in this interview? Well, I, I think um, it's... Uh, so, for those who haven't heard of us before, there there's a little history that goes back quite some time, and... You know, this band was formed in the early 80s. We were very, very young at that time. I think we were four. five. Yeah, yeah, four and five. Three or four. Four or five years old. Or one. The cute yeah, little toddlers. Like yes. <laughs> but uh, most recently, we've, we've uh, stepped up uh, since uh, the band kind of got back together over 10 years ago and kind of got our social media up and uh, been pushing a lot more of that stuff. And lately, we actually have uh, a link tree 
which can be found on our Facebook page as well as a few other places, which is quite fun because it goes all the way back to the beginning. So there's actually uh, early video of the band that Mike produced, Mike Karen, mm -hmm. um, in about 82, was it? Yeah. 82. Right. 82. So that stuff is hilarious. And what's interesting <laughs> <laughs> is that it's the... That's one word for it? Yeah. A <laughs> <the> bunch <laughs> of three-year-olds running around on the yeah. stage, right? Right. right? We were young then. Okay. It was a long time ago. But it's... What's interesting is it's a timepiece. I mean, because it's uh, it's the original guys. I mean, yeah. So you look at that, and then you look at us now. We haven't changed a bit. I mean, right. we look no, identical. No. <laughs> just, Absolutely, just like yeah. Rolling yeah. Stones. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the Stones. <laughs> like the years haven't touched us at all. <laughs> but you know, that's that's a cool legacy. It is. I'm really pr I'm very proud of that. More every day, and I know we all feel the same because we're brothers. We get along really well. We really do. You know, and it's really neat to have that legacy, you know, that's available for us to see and it will live on, you know, on yeah. the internet. You're talking yeah. about and the time. 40 years of friendship. Yeah. 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 40, across 40 years. For all four of us, the original yeah. four, yeah. 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 Yep. That's, that's really priceless. You cannot right. put a price tag on that. And it's great that you have um, video that mm -hmm. you can look back on remember those times and i'm sure i'm sure looking back on those times he also helps to warm your hearts today like oh, absolutely. you know and yeah. in, it's like it's priceless i'm trying to find another word besides priceless but that's the word that says it all it is priceless really yeah um it's totally you can't put a price tag on that and it's it's uh, so rare, you know, you know how rare it is mm -hmm. uh, for bands to stick together oh my more gosh. than three or five years. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, needless to say, 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> so kudos to you guys for that. 50 or 60 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these two. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So what are we lined up with on our songs? Where are we going next? How about a little bit of Little Miss Trouble? Oh, mm -hmm. man. This song is a lot of fun. It is. Yeah, it is. It's a rocker. Here it goes. All right.
What? Uh, <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> the original striker, the original uh, mm. striker, and there's a reason why we preface mm. striker with by saying the original, because when you guys took a little hiatus in yeah. the timeline. There were some other people that came along and kind of name. like, you know, used used the name. So we don't want to be, you don't want to be confused with those other bands that came along and started using that name. You want to be identified as, hey, the original. We, we are the originals. And our social media is all that. Everything is the original. Yep. So yep. that's all you got to know. And we could have named ourselves the original Oasis. That's true. Oh, my well, God. That's true. There's a story. Yeah. 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 We had a band in... Elementary school? Yeah, I would say middle middle school, like seventh, eighth grade. Yep, called Oasis. Yep. Really? Yep. yep. Those Gallagher brothers called me and said, hey, can we use this name? I go, $50,000. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you about that, did I? <laughs> I forgot to tell you about that. That's got his pickup truck. I've got pic- we've got pictures from our, uh, from our seventh or eighth grade yearbooks mm-hmm. with us playing in the quad at a lunchtime yes. uh, concert thing that we did. And on my bass drum, handwritten in big letters, is Oasis Rock and Roll. Yep. Really? Yeah. 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 Yep. That's a seed. Oh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that could be some kind of... That was one of those big stages. Thing. Big dollar. <laughs> that could be yeah, one of those yeah. big dollar <laughs> things on, yeah, on was... sold on eBay. Maybe maybe a couple hundred peply faced kids in the, in the audience, <laughs> yeah. seven year olds yeah. or seven seventh graders, I should say. Before they were striker, before they were striker, they were yeah, the oasis. Yeah. You can get your hands on that drum head. Yeah, I wish that would have been classic. <laughs> that I, been I got cool. photos of it. That's about it. Yep. Uh, yeah. Don't physically have it. No. Ah, uh, bummer. Yeah. Darn. I was looking for a, a commission on the email. So email, <laughs> the email. Yeah, another, email. another t-shirt idea. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, so at the show, for the first time in a long time, we yeah. will have merch. We'll have t-shirts. We'll have a commemorative CD and uh, some other stuff in there for anybody who wants to stop by our merch and table. And still has a CD nice. player. And still has a CD player. So you're going to have yeah. merch tables set up. Yes. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Yep. I mean, Excellent. Yeah. So that's something to see. And we'll yeah. be hanging out. I, my intention is to hang out at the merch table. Mm-hmm. And then people want to come and chat and stuff and hang out. It's going to be a good time. I mean, every time we've gone to the Nam Jam just to watch the other bands and everything, it's just a party. It's yeah. just yeah. incredible. It's oh, so yeah. much fun. Great oh, energy. Yeah. You know, yeah, great energy. Great energy. Yeah. So, you guys, are you playing at five straight up? No, we're no. playing at six. At six straight up. I actually up. think it's 6.15, but six is just yeah, the, a good the, time. Yeah, the opener goes on. Yep. Okay, so yeah. there's a band before you. There is, yeah. Okay, and so the opener starts at five. Yep. And you play at six. Yep. And... What time do the does the door open at the the grand ballroom? I think four. Four. Yeah. Doors open at four, ladies and gentlemen, and the rock and roll fest goes until twelve midnight with the headliner mm-hmm. Leather Wolf. Yep. Which was here just a minute ago on the show, and what a killer night, man! The t- and the blast. ticket price is reasonable. We can't say the price on the air, no. but I can say that the price is reasonable totally. Absolutely. So huge good it's a great bargain bargain. And the other thing to remember is that if if you're not a NAM attendee, mm-hmm. you can come. It's not a a, yeah. a NAM event. You it's don't need your public. badge. You yeah. just gotta have so, tickets. And on top yeah. of that, it's all age. All ages mm-hmm. even. Whoa, Bethany. Bethany, <laughs> what do you do? Let me tell you, this girl, she cracks me up with her song choices sometimes. She's sometimes she's all up into some hell's bells. Yeah. She yeah, for real. <laughs> is this your little miss trouble? Yeah, this is my little miss trouble. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. She takes after me, I guess. Huh. So <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from that tree. Uh, I know. Day. She has good taste. What can I say? There you go. So we have the original striker in the studio. You guys are awesome for uh stopping by and hanging with us. Um we got some morning after blues queued up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. I think we should hear some of that. All right, let's do it. Mm, Let me tell you a story. I woke up this morning. 
This is Ground Zero Radio, and we are wrapping it up for the night. I want to remind everybody to tune in every Monday night, same time, same place, 7 to 9 p.m. on Monday nights, here for two hours of original music. And finishing up the show tonight, Ben from the original Striker. Thank you and Steve and Tris for coming in tonight and telling us about your gig at the Nam Jam this Saturday night. And where can people buy tickets? So tickets are available at our website, theoriginalstriker.com. Um, you can also kind of get that way through our Facebook page. Um, but yeah, you can get there, and uh, they're available on our website. So again, it's theoriginalstriker, with an I, dot com. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And it's our pleasure, by the way, to be Always. here. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so honor. much, guys. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. You're my favorites. Okay. <laughs> so everybody have have a great week. Have a super great week. Uh, if you're down at the Nam show, and uh, give a shout out to me if you want to. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, Michaela Compton. I will be at the Nam show here and there, and upstairs and downstairs for. Um, in and out. So, you know, if you want to hook up or say hey or grab an interview, the shout out to me. And remember to tune in every Monday night, 7 to 9 p.m. 
every Monday night here on KOCI 101.5 for two hours of original music. Love ya. Good Good night. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye bye. You are listening to GZR Ground Zero Radio. Follow us on social media and every Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific Time on KOCI 101.5.